Hi everyone, welcome back to Talented Developer. In today's video, we are going to implement Swagger and currently we are using latest Spring Boot application and we are also using JPA and that JPA is having Jakarta. So how we can configure Swagger UI? So let's go back to our code. So I am having a basic Spring Boot application and this is my main class and here I am having one controller. So in this controller, I am having a CRUD application API. So if you expand, you can see all the API like create user, delete user, get user by ID and update user. And I'm just keeping one exceptional handler here that will return like if there is no user it will just return an error message I am treating this class as model and I am also treating here as an entity and here I am having one repository that is called user repository so this is the basic Spring Boot application so let's go to our form.xml so here you can see currently I am using this dependency so currently my application is here Maven application and here I am using MySQL, JPA and Spring Boot web so how we can configure swagger like this so trust me it is very easy process and it will take maximum 10 to 20 seconds for you if you have already configured swagger dependency so go back to your web browser and just search maven a spring talk open api a starter and here you can open the first link currently they are having 2.6 version copy this one go back to your form.xml and just copy and paste it that's it our swagger is done you are surprised let me show you the so first run our application now go back to the browser and just type localhost port number we are having 8080 and type here swagger hyphen ui slash index dot html you can see how swagger integration is much more easier and currently we are using swagger 3 so you can see this is the get api and if you want to test it you can just open that one and just pass your id as a one and here you will get the response of our first data and these are the data we are keeping in our database and a schema you can see id name email delete api get all user and post to everything we are having so this is my crud application if you want to understand how to create crud application then you can check this video that's it bye